Do you think we will all like Michael Jordan more or less after watching The Last Dance? I think we're going to understand him more. You got to keep in mind with Tom Brady and Derek Jeter, uh, this is the model for athlete being excellent, hiding most of everything, and we create the mythology around the excellence because Michael Jordan didn't give us a whole lot beyond the winning and being really nice as a famous athlete. So I think we're going to get a better look at him. The Jordan Rules was a controversial book because it showed you into the life of Michael Jordan and how hard it is to come by that excellence. Sam Smith, one of the things that he just recently wrote about, the author of uh, The Jordan Rules, is that Republicans buy shoes too was just a joke Michael Jordan was making. It is something we've smeared him with for the better part of 30 years, but he was just making a joke. So, Yes, he was the bleep hole who would punch Steve Kerr in the eye in practice in the name of Wimney. And that winning came at a cost. He wasn't very nice to people. He's a little worried that people are going to think that he was a horrible person or a bleep hole in his own words because he's never allowed this kind of access to his life. But I think we're just going to get a multifaceted portrait that's going to have good and bad in it, but it's going to be closer to the truth than the mythology we've built around a human being. This is about a successful championship run. Of course, people will like him more, right? It's like watching a movie where you know how it ends. Sports fans more than anyone else care about winning and we will retroactively graft acceptance onto any behavior that leads to said winning, even though most of us are not like Michael Jordan. I would say 99% of the people watching this are Steve Kerr getting punched not Michael Jordan, but we will empathize with him. We will root for him because he is successful and we know how it all ends. Yeah, none of us want to be the foot soldier. We all think we're General Patton. And so there is a funny dynamic, Dan, where like, we're going to watch this. And by the way, I've already watched eight episodes. I know okay. a guy. You're that guy. Uh, he's that okay. guy. But, but, Mina, but the best, he's that guy. I he's am, that awful guy. Nobody likes that guy, Pablo. But here I am with inside information because episode seven is entirely about this. And this is the episode that I watched twice abusing my viewership privileges because it is the introspective Michael Jordan, the unapologetic Michael Jordan, the Michael Jordan who says the ends justify the means, even when the means is my verbal and literal fist sometimes into the face of my teammates. And so for me, I love the Jordan that we will get, you will get, but I also really hate the effect that this sort of archetype has had on our society, on our culture. Like this alpha male bleep hole is the guy that so many people in high school, in government, at office jobs are cosplaying as because they confuse what it means to be great with the abuse of that greatness. Michael Jordan got away with all of it because he is that good, but it's not why he's that good. And so you have all these aspirational Jordans who are not Jordan thinking, this is what it means to be the great alpha male. And I think that leads to the misperception that Right, every great athlete has to be that way, that they're somehow commingled. Look, Tom Brady has some interesting aspects to his story, but you know what he doesn't have? People coming forward, teammates saying he was a bleep hole. He doesn't, and he is still the GOAT because you really, it's not integral to being successful in sports. It's just a facet of his personality. And there's also admittedly like something to the old aphorism, comedy is what happens when tragedy befalls other people. Like I will admit, I am more Scott Burrell than Michael Jordan, right? In my own imagining, I must admit <laughs> this. But when you watch what happened, you're probably also going to laugh. Really? Really? Again, because you've already gotten to see it and we haven't? Spoiler because you've alert. already seen it. it. The only bleep hole here, I think, I think me and I can agree on this. There's only <laughs> one here. There's only one. It's not Michael Jordan. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.